What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again. And today we will be having a look at this feature icon or feature category section, whatever you would like to call it. It does come with this nice little hover effect right here. You can even link it to something external or something inside the homepage. And we will be having the opportunity to fully customize this whole thing. And I'm going to show you how it's done. The first thing I did for that is that I headed over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app. Section Store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable components. And one really nice benefit of the app is that even after you installed sections and deleted the whole app itself again, the sections will remain in your store. That means it's not going to slow down your store or whatsoever, like a lot of apps unfortunately do, but this one doesn't. So that is definitely a nice one on this. And we will focus on the feature 11. It's the one I told you about. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free but we do have to charge for view of our sections because it took a lot of time to develop this one and optimize it to your likings. But it's a one-time charge. That means if you bought it once, you'll own it forever and you're not gonna need an expensive developer to custom code you that. And you still have customization options to that whole thing. So if you're not happy with how it looks like, you can just fully optimize it to your brand guidelines. So yeah, I think that's a good one for sure. After successfully getting it, head back to the My Sections area of the app where you have to do the final installation step, and that is to add the section to the theme you're actually using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme. Already added it, and then just open it up in the theme editor you actually installed it to. Also something I've done already, and that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And I'll just show you real quick how the section would look like if you would start from scratch. So I'll just type in feature 11 right here, and that is the one. And that is pretty much the default version. So it doesn't look too different from the one you saw in the beginning of the video. Those are all those little items right here. So if you click on one, I'll just show you how that looks like. So charge 20K, for example, it's going to update live and you can even change those little icons right here. And also you could upload a custom image. So if I would want something like that, in that case, that would also be possible. So yeah, and we could add a little description right here. This is an example. Sorry for all the typos, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that that is possible too. And we could link it to one of our collections. So that could maybe be a nice way to showcase all the collections in your store or whatever you want to use it for, or even products. It really depends on what you're using it for. All right, that is how you can change those blocks right here. And if you want to do customizations to the whole block itself. Just click on the main block right here. That's the one, all the different categories. Let's just go for the category use case. And we can change the size of that one as well. And of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. We did this mobile first, so a lot of the users in the web are, of course, mobile users, which are going to be on your store. So that is made sure that those ones are going to be happy as well. The UI and UX is specifically optimized for that. The subheadline is changeable as well. So I'll just change that one. As you can see, that one up here. We could use a custom font up here too. And yeah bunch of other things which are customizable. We can decide how many items we want to see per row here. And also if you want to use the item shadow, that is the one, or we want to just show it on hover. That's what I want to have in this case. And here we can even decide which hover color it's going to be. So if I want to go with blue, let's maybe all change it to the blue. So those ones are going to switch, not the one we uploaded. It's just affecting the ones which it already comes with in the default version. And I'm going to switch this in a second. And maybe also the headline is something I would like to change. Maybe also make it in that blue. So it all goes well color wise. And yeah, here just some random margins and paddings we can change. Lazy load is active. And like I said here, I would like to get rid of that. So we're going to remove that image and it's going to switch back to the icon. Let's save it all up, have a final look at it in the theme editor. And if it all worked out the way we wanted it to, we can round it up. Just want to 
put in a random collection right here so we can check if the link is actually working. And yeah, let's see, that one loaded up. I'll give that one a reload as well so we can check all the changes we have done. And full scrolling all the way to the end, something I'd like to say if you have own suggestions about sections we should make in the future, always feel free to leave them in the comment section and we're happy to receive some inspiration by you and it's definitely gonna get a little shout out as well. All right, that is the one we were looking for and it is looking nice. All the hovers we did change, did change and also the colors got successfully changed and if I click on that, it will direct us to this collectioner, perfectly working as well. And yeah, that pretty much rounds that video up. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.